Navigation. Navigation in a project point cloud is the same as in a point cloud, except that it'll be lighter. So we have four icons here for navigation. We have the fly, which is going to go wherever you're aiming. We have the examine, which goes around the radius point that I have shown you. Or the walking holds the camera at the same elevation and walks through a site or you can pan. So let's take a look at these. Let's pick the uh, pan first and that just simply moves us around. It doesn't do anything else. And the, um, well let's, let's go to the examine because I want to turn this. We need to put a radius point someplace and turn this so that we can look at uh, the various objects. And if you simply use your wheel to zoom in you're not really changing uh, your position. And if you look down at the bottom here, you'll see the coordinates and um, the elevation of where the camera is or how far away the camera is. And you see it's not changing the distance. So we're really not moving in. Um, if you use the arrows, uh, that'll do, that will move you in. I'm actually using the down area arrow and that'll move the camera in. Uh, let's examine the flyby and here is the same thing. If you just zoom in you're not really changing the location of the camera you're just magnifying what you're already looking at. So you want to move the camera and you can do that with your arrow keys and if that's not fast enough for you hold the shift button down and push it and you'll go really fast <laughs> so um, that's how you maneuver around. Um, if you use the walking, uh, the walking elevation, let me change this so that we're looking down a street, for example. Let's say we're just walking like this, and we're going to hit the walking, and then we're going to just go through the project at the same elevation. Okay, so that's the basic maneuvering. Um, well, wait, there is one other thing I need to show you, and that is that in this is this is a visibility setting. A lot of things are controlled here, and right now we're in we're in perspective mode and not orthographic. Orthographic, everything's going to be the same scale instead of having a vanishing point. Now, if you switch to the orthographic, a nice thing happens. I can hit OK or I can hit Apply. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now you see we've really zoomed in. But if I um, just use the wheel, I can still maneuver around. And it's going to hold all the same, all the same data. And I can maneuver with just the wheel and the, the mouse. So here we are at the curb location and we can zoom in and we can see scan data uh, very closely this way. You can see every single point that was measured. So you can see the very fine detail, little pieces of broken curb and everything. So that's uh, basic maneuvering.